I bring a new Pokemon Prism Nuzlocke Part 26. In the last part, we took care of the Naljo Ruins, which took up mostly an hour because uh, I, I was pretty much half doing it blind. Like, I, I didn't really know what exactly to do about all that. Um, but I eventually figured it out, and for getting the red, blue, and white jewel, we also got the brown jewel along with that, and created the Prism Jewel and gave it to this Ruin Maniac, who gave us a fake Naljo ID. I'm not really sure why, you know, especially the fact that, you know, a fake Naljo Citizen ID. Especially the fact, oh by the way, we also got the gas mask, which I didn't know, but like the higher up floors has gases that you cannot walk through, and that's what the gas mask was for. And I didn't know that, because I didn't go to the stairs early enough. But that's what the gas mask is for. Uh, I got it pretty early, and uh, I thought it was for something completely else. And uh, well, in my head, I thought it was for the bottom floors because it looked a lot darker, and that's what I assumed. They had like fumes or something that made the lights a little bit more dim. I don't know what I was thinking, but uh, nonetheless, we got the fake ID. Even though I told them that I was sniffed by Varanius himself, so you know, I also feel like just looking at the badges. Just look at this. Just look at this. And you might notice that I got like 20 bucks. Um, I actually went off screen to go to the Pokemart, got self a bunch of burgers, and then soon realized that there was Moomoo Milks right on the other side. And my dumb self decided to... I, I bought so many burgers, like it's crazy. Like, my Pokemon just keep asking for burgers, man. I thought I was just curly, and I just got like so much items. But like I said, I saw Moomoo Milks and I got four because that's all I could afford left. But yeah, I got 35 burgers for the whole crew. Just six months. I don't know who's going to get a lift out of burger because it's an odd number. But yeah, um, we also got new Pokemon as you may know about the last episode. Let's go check it out. With Dragoon, the Trapinch, it's a ground type Pokemon. I'm holding the luck yet because I'm going to do some training with them. I, I know I should do it off screen. With Rock Smash, Flail Bite, and Dig. I'm not really looking forward to the move set. I, I don't know. I just figured that he's a good uh, team member at the moment for the lack of types that we have. I, I think I need another grass type. As uh, attack's the highest, uh, defense is the second highest. Met at the 9 and Alger Ruins at level 30, Quick Temper with the Hyper Cutter ability. We got Megatron the Metang, Steel Psychic type, which is an amazing Pokemon. Holding the Confused Guard, Iron Defense, Bullet Punch, Psychic, and Body Slam. He has Defense being the highest and Attack being the second highest. Met at the 9 and Alger Ruins at level 40, likes to run with the Clear Body ability. Just to be clear, this is a static Pokemon, which is why it's the second Naljo Ruins Pokemon. We also got Golbat along with that. And speaking of which, I saw another episode with the person going to Naljo Ruins, and for some reason, the second Pokemon was Misdreavus and not Golbat. Maybe it was just earlier versions of the game. I thought there was two Matangs. I don't know why I thought that, but for me, for some reason, came out of Golbat, so... Is either that it came out in earlier uh, earlier versions of the game where it's a different Pokemon, or maybe it just depends on the player somehow, some way uh, with certain Pokemon. But I'm not sure. Regardless, we got Bale. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Where's Martha? Poison Flying type holding the Poison Bar, Bite, Fly, Sludge Bomb, and Razor Leaf. With the speed being the highest, attack being the second highest, met at the 9 Mount Cave, level 8, somewhat stubborn with the inner focus ability. We got Riptide, the Fralligator, the water type Pokemon, holding the Mystic Water, Surf, Aqua Jet, Bite, and Slash. With the attack being the highest, defense being second highest, met at the 9 Laurel City at level 15, quick temper with the Torrent ability. We got Magnus, the Magnificent One, the Tyranitar, Rock Dark type, Hearthstone, Bite, Rock Throw, Mudslap, and Dig. With attack being the highest, defense being the second highest. Met during the day in Aquamines at level 5, quick temper with the Sandstream ability. 
And we also got Scar, the true knight, the Typhlosion, the fire type Pokemon, the truest knight, I should say. Hold on the polka dot because I can't figure out anything else to give it. Flamethrower, double kick, will o -Wisp, and cut. And, uh, you know, just in case you guys are thinking that maybe perhaps I have a charcoal somewhere, I don't. I don't have a charcoal. I wish I did. But special attacks the highest, speed is the second highest. Not during the Nanox Isle City level 10. Strong will with the Blaze ability. And that is all the Pokemon. So, uh, yeah, like I mentioned, I did all that. You might have just saw that on the side of the screen. And uh, there's a reason for that, and I'll point it out in a second. I can't let anybody in here without a proper Naljo ID. Thanks for showing me your ID card. I'll now let you visit the island. Dude, I didn't have to show him the ID card. I am a citizen. I was sniffed by Varanius. No one listens to me, man. Is that your first time visiting? Well, Saxifrage, Saxifrage is where we lock up those who committed crimes. Criminals! You can look at them, but please, don't feed them. After all, it's like a zoo, but with less rights. I don't know, that sounds really messed up. <laughs> sounds really, really messed up. Um, as of late, I have been watching this YouTuber who actually was an ex-Jewel Thief. He's been trending lately, he's been going viral, and uh, it's pretty crazy what he's- wait, this is a new route, yeah? Wait, I don't- I don't understand. Wait, 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 wait. Route 78. And it popped up. Oh, okay, Route 79. Okay, it is a new route. I wasn't sure. And I know there's trainers here, and I should be training. But I'm gonna avoid them, and I could get a Pokemon out here. I don't know if there's grass of any kind. I'm gonna avoid all you people. Every single one of you. Okay, so what could be our encounter? It's a tentacle, that's Dupe's Claws. And I know for a fact there's another Pokemon out here. I just realized my mistake right now. I have the absolute wrong Pokemon out. Let's just test out Megatron. Let's see if we could kill him somehow. But, uh, yeah, I saw this, uh, bunch of videos of this ex jewel thief is this a poison move that could hit hit steel moves that's what I think it is it don't matter and it's so very interesting on, on this guy his name is Larry Lawton I feel weird saying it out loud because I don't think I ever said it out loud before I always just said it in my mind but uh I just, it's just so very interesting, the whole, all the stories that he's been saying is crazy. All these chapters, and that's our Pokemon, it's the Surskit. I was looking for you for a long time, dude. For a long time. Um. Um, let's go with Riptide. I'm sure you can live any hit. Let's see. Let's go with the bite. I'm sure you can live a bite. Never mind. Never mind. All right. And I know there's a token out here, so let me let me go look for that. I should use a super repel. I think it's right here actually. The token is right here. Yes, I saw it in a picture. And uh, I I'm glad I remembered it because I thought I was not gonna remember it. I don't know what's in the higher parts. Hey, sir, get how's it going again? It's level 31. Please tell me I could escape. No! I have to switch. Dude, this is dumb. Oh, I don't like the fact that... I don't like the fact that... God dang it! I don't like the fact that he can't run away. Like, this is the worst kind of training. I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to anyway. I'm gonna bite the bullet, because I don't really need... Oh, there's Wilmers out here, what? Interesting. I don't really need to train train, that's the thing. Because if I try to level up Dragoon, another Pokemon's gonna get level up even higher than I intend to. What?! Self-destruct. This man... That's the last thing I expect Wilmer to do. I mean, I know he's a ball and everything, but god dang it, dude. What's here? 
two mining picks. Interesting. I'm still kind of pissed off that um, mining picks stayed at the Laurel Forest. If you don't have some form of ID, you'll get into real trouble if you go eastward. Yeah, so at this point, I thought these weren't rocks. I, I was kind of confused why I stopped. At this point, go to the Pokemart. Trust me when I say you want to get supplies at this point. Uh, I did it before the episode because I figured I didn't want to go here just to go back. So, very highly recommend that you do because you go outside. Halt! Let me see your identification. <laughs> oh, you're a smart kid, huh? A fake ID won't work with me. I need you to come with me. No! I need you to stay here. Don't consider this an arrest. Dude, it is an arrest. What are you talking about? You, you put me in jail, dude. We're not sure what to do with you right now. We don't get many kids coming to Sex Fresh. Usually. We get guys coming through here all the time claiming they're here to challenge Cadence to a gym battle. But what ends up happening is them trying to spring their buddies out of prison. Now, I don't know what purpose you had in coming here exactly. But we'll figure out that out tomorrow. Dude, you can't put me in jail overnight. That's not... Come on, I'm innocent. The guy gave me the card. Veranius sniffed me. They won't listen. That that just sucks, dude. I, what am I supposed to do? I can't just stay here. Um, so... Looking through all the walls, you could clearly see... Oh, what does this say? Don't try to jump and escape. Don't forget, you're here forever. I thought he said it was over... I am innocent! <sighs> but either way, I'm not sure what this is, if it's a hole and, and you know, in a, in a first person perspective, is there like just no hole in there? But you could jump over this thing. I don't know, this is kind of weird. Uh, but I just imagine it's a hole in the wall rather than just a hole on a broken wall or something because I feel like officers will see that very much but someone already built an escape out here already as you can see there's a bunch of rocks out here and such and somehow we're in this house whose house no idea not a single clue but uh we're here nonetheless there's a strength boulder and if you try to surf the water's moving too fast to surf ah uh, geez all right don't know whose house that is at all, though. We can't get a Pokemon here, so let's go do that. And we see somebody down there. Oh, who that could be? Either way, this is Sexafrage Island, and we could get ourselves a Magmar, which I was looking for, um, for, uh, what's his face? I was looking for him in that one area. Let's go with Magnus. Hopefully you don't have a fighting move of any kind. What can I do so you don't get hurt? Fire Blast. Jesus Christ. And the cool thing is too, something else I forgot to mention, you might have already saw it on the on the video on the side, but um, I put a bunch of items away, and if you remember, we got the Magmarizer. I, I'm sure he could live one mud slap, like surely, right? Oh! Oh, I love that, okay, cool. Just one mud slap? Yeah, 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 okay. I don't think I need to damage him anymore. Yeah, he's at orange health now. Uh, let's throw one great ball. I think he's worth the great ball. Or not, you just break out of it. Come on, man. Stop mock punching me! Let's try one more great ball. After this, I'm gonna have to heal. If he crits me, I might die. Dude, seriously, you need to stay in the friggin' ball. Uh-oh. <sighs> Boy. This is, uh... Giving me the most right now. Let's see. Let's go give you... Uh, the Moomoo Milk. Because you have well over 100 HP. Yeah, now I think about it, what am I thinking, man? I really should've just really just bought um I really should just bought Moomoo Moo milks I didn't notice that there were Moomoo Moo milks there and I checked everything in the store so I don't know what the heck all right we caught Magmar that's a long enough 
Alright, I have no idea what I'm gonna call him. Level 31 though for Dragoon. He's trying to learn Sandstorm. I don't really... He has garbage moveset right now. Of course it's gonna change. I'm not gonna teach him Sandstorm. Alright. Magmar the Spitfire Pokemon, 4'3", 98 pounds. It moves more frequently in hot areas. It can heal itself by dipping itself, uh, its wound into lava. Um... Uh... Let's call it you... Because he does the Fire Blast move. I feel like that's his signature. I guess so is uh, Arcanine, but... I'm gonna call you Kanji, because he does the Kanji for Fire Blast. And I don't think that's a good nickname, but it's gonna work. Let me know if you guys like the nickname. Alright, let's go talk. He's actually the Blue Pallet Patroller, if you haven't noticed. They got you too. I was taken here. Pink was taken to Igolu e City and Red somehow managed to escape. You're asking how I ended up here. Well, after I was sent here, Varanius, the Pokemon that Red woke up, came and created the path back there. Red did say that Varanius knew where the other Guardians were. Perhaps it's trying to return the orbs to the other Guardians. But yes, using the path it's created, I was able to escape and end up here. Oh yeah, I found this thing inside the Warden's house. Please take it. Maybe Varanius is still around. I have the sinking feeling that you might be able to tame it. And we got a cage key. Alright. Please look for the Guardians. Man, he got so much different since I first met him. The first time I met him, he was a nervous wreck. Now he's just not like stuttering at all, except for my reading skills. And I guess he created all this path? That's what... Varanius, I guess, did this? And that's supposed to be the Warden's house. Um, but we got the cage key. Now, how the cage key works is that, uh... It's a disposable item. There's ten of them in Sexafrage. I think in the game, I'm not sure. But there's supposed to be either two extra, or four extra, or six extra. I'm not really sure. And I'm not really sure if all the cages are possible to be open. But once you use them, it's gonna get used. So like I said, there's 10 of them in this place. This is the first one that we have. And we have to use it to escape this place. So let's unlock the door. And there we go. And I tried to see multiple videos, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna mess something up. But as you can see, these are other cage doors. Some of the people here are gonna, you know, end up not having uh, any information to give or any stuff to give you. Maybe they'll give you another cage key that they found somewhere. Um, but then there's also items here. You just have to make sure who you should give and who you shouldn't give. So, oh look, Palette Black. How's it going, man? Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> I'm in jail too, but I'm, I'm not in a cell anymore. Oh, jeez. This is awkward. All right. Uh, what's in here? Oh, there's this place. Did you know? People often lose stuff in the bath. If you're looking for something, it's worth if it, uh, it's, it's worth it to look inside those. Um, I also don't think there's any golden tokens in this whole place. And I know exactly where the, the cage key is. It's actually, I believe, right here. Wait, there it is. Because I see people looking throughout the pool. I've been trying to see how well I can remember all this and make it easier on myself. Because it's cool that I like managed to figure out the whole Nalja Ruins by myself. Um, for this one, I had to look into it because I know there's something upcoming which I'm not exactly sure about. Um, and that thing that I'm not sure about, you'll see soon enough. It, it just, I was a bit worried, is the thing. Let's go let you free. Let's see what you have to say. You know, I feel bad for, for like, completely ambushing you, dude. So, hopefully you'll forgive me. I recognize you. You went undercover and landed me up in here. I could easily blame you for my being in here. But I spent a good deal of my time here just thinking about my life decisions. 
Not just my own choices, but the kind of choices that get all of us to change the road we're set out on. Me? I joined a group of Pokemon trainers who were extreme in their means of attending their philosophy. We use anything such as psychic oppression with our Pokemon to get our way. I believe I was doing good. That I was doing a service to our future generations by finding ways to radic radically improve growth of Pokemon. I believe what I was doing was good until our run-ins with you started. You, just a humble trainer, who with his Pokemon bested are genetically superior ones. You showed real respect to your Pokemon team and crafted an extremely positive bond between them. The world needs more trainers like you, not like us. Here, take this. You deserve, oh my god, that went so fast, I didn't even press A there. You deserve this, I think is what he said. And Vance received the roof card. It's a card I found on the ground. This card lets you access the roof. The basement door is locked up by some special code. That's where they keep the unruly Pokemon of prison. Someone else might know the passcode. So yeah, that was the second cage key I used. Is if you want to know, here you go. You can't use another one. That's what I mean by disposable. So I have to wisely choose my decisions, but at the same time, I kind of want to open all of these. Wait, how many are they here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, that's why I don't feel comfortable. If I'm aware that there's ten of them, then I don't know if that's for the best, but there's this place right here. And the thing is, I don't want to make this another hour special, but here's a Nurse Joy right here. You look tired! Hey, take a rest! So, I'm gonna end the episode soon. There you go, you look a lot better! Come back whenever you need a rest! So, yeah. Working out is the only joy I get out of life now. However, it doesn't fill the void. At the time I was arrested, they separated me and my Pokemon. The friendship I had with them is much stronger than my body could ever become. Alright. There is actually... Well, there's a cop right here. So... Oh, jeez! Kid, you scared the stones out of me. There's been a lot of paranormal activity around this place. I know what will calm me down. Pokemon battle. Oh, jeez. Why, why are you battling me, dude? Officer Polly wants to battle. Okay, I didn't remember that he just straight up battled me. And I, even though Dragoon technically could beat him, I'm not gonna do that. He does have fighting moves. I can't use Magnus. I don't want to use Scar. I'm gonna have to. The only reason I don't want to is because he's level 42 already. And it would be better if he leveled up, but I don't know. He has Barrier. If only I had Brick Break. Let's Willow Wisp you. Alright. So I was saying, I never, I never finished my thought. Oh, he just double screened up on me, huh? Um, let's just flamethrower you. So Larry Long, very interesting man. He he did all these chapters about his life, like living a criminal as you know a jewel thief and all that. A bunch of crazy stories. It was just so fascinating and interesting. Like you should check out his YouTube channel. I, I feel like he is a changed man. You know, I feel like everybody deserves a second chance somewhere. And uh, he's proof of that, you know, once you see him and, and all that. Level 32 for Dragoon. But yeah, and of course all the content that he has out here is pretty awesome too, because he like reviews Grand Theft Auto V, uh, you know, Jewel Heist and all that stuff. And he says, yeah, that will never happen, like, you know, uh, how accurate they will be or how impressed he is on some stuff. Who is it, Magmar? Yeah, let's go with Magnus. And, uh, it's really cool. I know that he said that it's a... In a movie... Oh my god, you have Cross Chop. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. Why do you have Cross Chop? That's a very strong fighting move. I have to switch. Um, I forget which movie he said, but he said in a certain movie that it was really smart for them to use, um... What are those called? The little zip strips thing onto the doors or something like that? 
And, and when I'm saying this, I don't want to make it seem like, oh, he's teaching people how to do crime or anything like that. He's just putting in his take, and it is kind of entertaining content. It wouldn't work nowadays to try to rob places because, you know, the world has, like, a bunch of technology and all that. So you'll eventually get caught. You, you wouldn't get away with it even if you tried. Officer Polly was defeated, though. This is ridiculous. Be careful downstairs. Those Pokemon are unpredictable. Oh, it's downstairs. There's only trash in here. Okay. Wait, but you don't do anything? Hey, kid. You should start with the lightest training weights. It's going to be a long time before you get even close to the other guys. You know, I, it don't matter to me, dude. I got Pokemon. Like, I, you know? Ha! What do you want, you little wimp? Looking for keys? Well, yeah, I got a spare one. I don't need it because I'm tough enough to live the prison life. And we got another cage cree, cage cree, cage key it's number three. Cage key number three. You need to keep getting tougher. You'll need real toughness to survive in here. But that's just what I think of. Like Larry Lawton, he, he was telling me a bunch of crazy stuff, and even the mistreatment of people that are inside here. That you know, even Larry Lawton himself was all like, "This is pretty much a zoo." So. Uh, even though the guard said that, and I'm all like, that's messed up. You know, Larry said that as well. I heard that this island used to be the resting ground of the legendary Naljo Guardians. Humans and the other Pokemon were not allowed to visit the island. However, the hired construction crew didn't care. They had their orders to build a prison, so they built it over this historic landmark. That's pretty interesting. I, I wonder why they do that. Like, besides the fact that... Um, besides the fact that, you know, um, what was I going to say? Shoot. Now there's this place. So there's the upstairs area. Oh, now we're on the roof. Besides the fact that the prism makers, the, the, the game developers decided on making the prism a thing because I'm sure they envision is like it'd be cool if we navigate through a prism and all that and we got another cache key that's four right there I don't understand about the gold silver and crystal thing where they replace a graveyard with the radio tower like that doesn't make sense to me at all you know and we got ourselves a fluffy coat which is an item that will help us go through the Claphrite Tunnel. If you look right here, into the key items, protects you from low temperatures. So, that's what it implies right there. But yeah, the Gold, Silver, and Crystal in Lavender Town, I don't know why they replaced it with, like, a radio station. Like, that's probably really messed up if you really think about it, because they, they put a radio station on top of what used to be where dead bodies go to and where people mourn and will where people like respect them and stuff like that and it's just not something that I don't know I, I don't think it's like the best thing to do you know what I'm talking about and plus even outside talking about Pokemon this is our fifth cage key by the way it just doesn't really make sense in, in a game standpoint why you would prefer a radio station with nothing to do in there Except get just one card to wake up a Snorlax, rather than... You know what I mean? It's, it's kind of just weird. It's weird decisions. But I do like the prism thing. I just don't know how much it correlates to the Nigel Guardians, really. Like, even knowing about it in more detail. I think that's everything on the roofs, though. And we're pretty close to ending this episode. Alright. From what I understand though, actually, there is one person that I know just gives you information, so I, I'm not entirely sure. And I'm not entirely sure what, how I want to approach this either. Um, there's a couple people, inmates, that I know does, you know, give you something. But yeah, let, let's see, is there any other place to enter to? I think this guy gives you information. This guy I'm not totally sure about. That guy I think does give you a cage key. This guy doesn't, I believe. 
I don't remember the, the top guy. I think this guy does give you a cage key. And this guy does as well, I think? Wait, no, hang on, we got five, so that's six of them. Seven. Eight. Nine. Yeah, I think, I think that sounds about right. I just don't know. But we'll find out in the next episode, because in the next episode, we're gonna escape this place, and uh, let's see what they're talking about about this Naljo Ruins business. And not Naljo Ruins, my bad, I meant the Naljo Guardians. We're gonna find out about the Naljo Guardians, and then go look more further into it, and see if we can escape from jail, because we don't deserve to go to jail, damn it. So White Tigers and Dragons to you, and you've been Scarred by the Night. I'm out. Oh,